I'm Fiona Mackay Young and I hope you enjoy finding out what you can tell from handwriting. Personal development through handwriting. Building self-esteem. Self-esteem is valuing one's own worth. Being able to see your own abilities and talents. There are two ways that do not support self-esteem. One is overvaluing yourself and the other is undervaluing yourself. If you add healthy self-esteem traits to your writing and remove unhealthy traits, you can improve self-esteem by leaps and bounds. Here's how to go about it. Where you place the crossbar on your lowercase t equals how high a value you place on yourself. It also shows how high your goals are because the two are closely connected. And it doesn't matter what the style of tea is, just look at the crossbar. For good self-esteem, you want to have practical to high goals. Practical goals mean you can reasonably expect to get there. And high or distant goals mean that if you take one giant leap, you can probably make it. So they're, they're further away, they're more difficult to achieve. The next trait for good self-esteem is shown in the size of the capital letters in your signature. Notice that the M in Martin is larger than the capital T in thanks. This slightly larger capital indicates good self-esteem. Now look at the capital M in this version of Martin's signature. This M is much larger than the rest of the signature and the capital T in thanks. This means puffed up self-esteem, whether bluff or egotism. Here's another signature showing good self-esteem. Since the capital M is larger but not to an extreme level than the rest of the signature. And here's Martin's good self-esteem signature again too. Another good self-esteem trait that both of these signatures shows is self-reliance. Self-reliance shows where the signature is underlined from left to right with a simple line. The last trait that shows good self-esteem is the personal pronoun I. The I here, you'll notice, is noticeably larger than you would expect capitals to be in writing. It's about two and a half times the height of the lowercase letters. As with capitals in the signature, if the personal pronoun I becomes extremely large, Vanity or an excess of pride in oneself is evident. If the personal pronoun I becomes extremely small, a lack of self-esteem is indicated. It doesn't matter what style you write the personal pronoun I. All that counts for self-esteem is its size in relation to the rest of the writing. Basically, self-esteem answers the question, how big do you see yourself? A noticeable but not overpowering size is good self-esteem. Too large is overblown self-esteem. And too small is self-underestimation or a lack of confidence. That's it for self-esteem. Practical to high distant goals shown in high T-bars. Capital letter in the signature larger than the capitals in the rest of the writing. An underlined signature. And the personal pronoun I about two and a half times the height of the lowercase letters. PracticalHandwritingAnalysis.com, write on. Be a success. 
10 ways your handwriting can help you succeed in business, at work, at home, in everything you do. Certain traits spell success. Discover what they are and how to add them to your writing and your personality. Find out how with this clear and practical book. To read more, click the link below in the description box.